Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey with Char on this lovely Monday evening. I'm doing a lot of videos on Monday, y'all. Yes, she is. But I wanted to come to you today to let you know one thing that I am doing more. I did do it into, uh, I, I do it every day of my um, life. You try to fit it in. But in 2020, it was really hard to get a lot of my Bible reading in. In 2021, I said, not this year. I'm really going to focus on learning scriptures and just prayer and personal time with the Lord. And just, especially with what we're going through, that's what keeps me sane is my Bible reading, my prayer time, my journaling, my note taking, and just encouraging words um, from my Our Daily Bread in touch. And then also I have um, a commentary here to help me to understand anything that I may be struggling to understand in the Bible. So I want to let you know, um, I just received this um, Bible. Um, I got this for right before Christmas, huh? Mm -hmm. I got this right before Christmas. I love the Christian Standard um, Bible. I also have the Amplified. I do have the original King James Version New and Translation. New Living Translation and New King James Version. Child, she has a lot of Bibles. So this is the new one, the Christian Standard. It's my first one ever having the new Christian Standard and the Christian Standard Bible. Um, and I absolutely love it. So this is the outside of it. It is fake leather. It is faux leather <laughs> and this is the way it looks on the side and Tony Evans is a pastor that we have been listening to for many many years and been inspired and encouraged by the word that he gives um, he is an awesome pastor and he is out of Dallas Texas and this is the Christian standard Bible it is really really beautiful and what I love about this Bible it does come with the two mark page markers and what I love about this Bible is um, just how he explains everything in here so you have devotionals faith works how to use this study Bible I love that and this is this video especially for those of you who are interested in wanting to learn more about the Bible or wanting to get into Bible reading. Um, I like going through the Bible in a year. This will be, I have never really completed it. My son completes it and has done that every single year for how many years, mama? Oh, Joshua has, Joshua has, ever since he was 20 years 19, old, 20. 19, 20 years old, my son Joshua has completed his year round Bible reading every single year and he learns something new every time he reads it. So I've been inspired by him this year. I said, you know what? I'm going to try my best to hold off. If you ne if you want to do a, a schedule like that and you happen to not finish it, it doesn't matter. The Bible is always ready, available 24 hours a day. And that's what you have to understand. You don't have to go by schedule. That is just what I'm trying to do this year. Y'all excuse that being in the background. That's my sister calling. But anyway, um, this one is how to use the Bible. And I wanted to do this video, especially for those of you who want to draw closer to the Lord, want to understand God better, want to want to get into the word of God for yourself. And you may be wondering what kind of Bible to start reading in. Um, I'm not a Bible teacher, but I just tell you what it's done for my life. Reading the Bible and just reading encouraging word and listening to encouraging word has truly helped me, especially during hard times, troubled times. It really does help you have faith, trust God, even when it is so hard. It has been such a blessing to me. It does have the index included in this Bible, which I love. If you're, you can find your chapters really, really easy. I absolutely love that. And, um, just each before each chapter, he will give you an, um, introduction, which I absolutely love that. And then the historical background and, um, the outline and message and purpose. And what I also love about this Bible is that when you're reading the scriptures here, if there is something you don't understand at the top, you can always come down to that section of scripture and he breaks it down. What? It is explaining at the top. 
I also love the fact that he has his Tony Evans Bible commentary. This Bible commentary is to help break down the word even more better. What the times, what we're going through, what, what they were going through during those times and maybe especially during the tabernacle. One thing I wanted to learn this year was more about the meaning of the tabernacle and how just how Christ was, um, that tabernacle was in representation of Christ. Christ and he came years later down the line, but it was all in representation of him. And so I just absolutely love um, how he breaks that down. And like, for instance, if I go to Acts, cause this is Acts one, I'm just going to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. This is the commentary. So let's just say Acts, Acts two here. Okay. I'm going to give you an example of Acts two. Okay, so he's explaining the Holy Spirit's empowerment of the church for kingdom witness. Okay, so this is Acts 1. So as we come along, this is the area of Acts 2, the day of Pentecost. So as you can see, if I'm reading that chapter, right now I'm in Genesis. Um, if you're reading that chapter and it says Pentecost here, right? If you come over from, say, 2 to 4, you see 2 to 4 right there, okay? And then you come over here and you will see two to four here, how he breaks that down, which occurred 50 days after Passover was a Jewish holiday marking the time of the wheat harvest, also commemorating the giving of the law on Mount Sinai. So as you can see how he breaks the chapter down to help you better understand what you're reading. And you can also get that in the bottom here. If you see two, one, and then you can go to four. So that's the starts of one and then four. So it's so much you can go to, to better understand. And even if you want to understand it with King James version, you can even pull your King James version Bible out. But I like when it's broken down better for me. So this is the way I love to study. My mom just ordered this commentary. Um, she also got a Bible like this too as well. And let me tell you, it has truly been a blessing to us because we better understand what we're reading, especially those difficult um, areas is that we're just especially revelations y'all know revelations is just like what oh, wow. revelations is really uh hard to understand but oh my gosh he breaks it down so this is look at all that breakdown he has here for these chap these verses up here so it's just an amazing bible i absolutely love it but you don't have to choose this bible you may want the new international you may want the at uh, um um the new living translation but there's so many different versions you just want to make sure that that version is authentic to where it is really given the gospel and like i said it says the tony evans bible this is not tony evan taking the word of god and switching it to his like and honey let me tell you i don't play that i don't play when people switch up the word this is just tony evans and then he has his notes in there to help you understand the word of god better throughout the bible okay that's what he does he encourages you through reading and he also encourages through you through breakdown of notes so like if you can see over here how he does the historical background, the message. I mean, it's just a really good, it's a really beautiful Bible. Okay, so that is the Tony Evans. And this is the Tony Evans Bible um, commentary, as I showed you, which is really good to read. But you can read this with any Bible. It does not have to match this one because they're both by Tony Evans. If you have a King James Version, if you have a New Living, if you have a Holy Bible. Now, this one I bought for my son. This is a 100% a leather Bible that I bought Joshua. And it is King James Version and Amplified together i will show you that and it's the holy bible and it is absolutely beautiful i purchased that for him this one is the king james version the book of ruth okay and then side by side is the amplified so these are the same scriptures but broken down in different translations so that's the king james version the book and then amplified bible and it's like that on every single one like if you're here you see King James Version, Amplified. It's breaking those scriptures down, okay? And Joshua, it, it, and, and we do, we're old school. It's We love when the Bible has 
the words of Christ written in red. This one does not, but it's still a good Bible. And Joshua absolutely loved That's one of his favorite things. So I knew he was going to love this Bible whenever um, I uh, bought this for him. And let me show you one of my favorite scriptures while we're in this section. Isn't that beautiful? Right there, John 3, 16. And it's written in red. And those are the words of Christ. Isn't that beautiful? I love John 3.16 and just keep going. Yes. So this is Joshua's um, personal Bible. One of his personal Bibles that I bought him and I included his name. And then the next thing we have here um, is the David Jeremiah Bible. Now I love David Jeremiah's Bible. David Jeremiah is a really good teacher here in Southern California. He is out um, of San Diego. He's really good. This one is the new King James Version. And this Bible is absolutely amazing too. He does a beautiful breakdown as well. Let me just give you some ideas. So this is his truth questions. Who are the sons of God? Um, and then he gives those questions. They always have scripture. You always want where the scripture, when they're giving their opinions or they're answering a question, you always want them to come with a scripture background back up so that, you know, it's not just words coming off their heads, but that they're, they're elaborating on a scripture. Um, and, but yes, so this is just absolutely amazing that it doesn't have the index, but that's fine. But yes, it is a beautiful Bible. It's a big Bible, but it is one of my favorite Bibles. I absolutely love it. And really helps me understand um, the Word of God when I'm reading it. The Bible that Joshua, that I just showed you all, if you're interested, you can get this from BibleGateway.com. You can also get this on Amazon. We got the large print. It's flat and it is the King James Version Parallel, large print amplified and New King James Version. And that's what that Bible looks like. And David Jeremiah's Bible, if you want to know what that looks like, David Jeremiah's Bible looks like this, okay? So you can see large print edition and this is all the information for the David Jeremiah and this is the new King James version okay and so this is mommy's she keeps hers in the box for Tony Evans and this is what that Bible looks like for Tony Evans Bible okay this is what it looks like advancing God's kingdom agenda index purple leather touch and this is how it comes. And I absolutely love this. This is the um, Charles Stanley Life Principles Daily Bible, biblical principles for each day of the year. What I love about this Bible, now if, this is a, if you're a person that wanna go through the Bible and you want to include Psalms and Proverbs, which we do in our readings every single day, I include Psalms and Proverbs in my Bible readings. I actually go by this Bible, um, plan on my daily readings and I just apply it to these when I'm reading. So what I love about this, so for instance, today is January 4th. Isn't that something? We came right to the day. So what I love about this is say for instance, I'm doing January 4th. This is the where I'm at in Genesis. Genesis 7, 1 through 8, 22. So it gives you what you read for that day. Okay, so we go all the way through Genesis. And what I love is he gives life lessons. He gives you life lefts little um little um uh paragraphs of life lessons that you can apply help apply and be inspired um as you go along and then as we read genesis 7 and 8 when we finish up for that day on the fourth we also will read psalms 3 1 through 4 you go there and then there's proverbs 1 20 through 22 Okay, and then you also read a New Testament um, scripture uh, chapter. And so that one's Matthew 4. As you can see, the fourth is still up there. So we will go to Matthew 4, 1 through 25. And that is all you read. And these are beautiful life lessons where you can read those things. And then another thing that I love about this Bible is he has answers to life questions. And you'll have... How do I handle nagging doubt? And you read that and just oh, enjoy it. It's just so beautiful. And as you finish up, you will notice down here, the next day you start January 5th is the next day you start. And that will be Genesis 9, 1 through 
Genesis 10 32 and then you go over and it does the same thing over again so in this Bible the reason why I love the Charles Stanley life principles daily Bible is you read Old Testament Psalms and Proverbs and a New Testament and a lot of his wisdom Charles Stanley is one of my favorite pastors I mean, amazing. My mother has been listening to him for more than 40 years. My grandmother. And my grandmother, my, my great grandmother listened to him. And he's just been one. We love him. He's out of Atlanta, Georgia, First Baptist he Church. Retired. He just retired and they have a new pastor and he's pretty good too. Mm -hmm. uh, he's really good. So anyway, that is the Life Principle Daily Bible. So we include that as well. Did you want to show your Joyce Meyer? Yeah. Okay. And so mommy is a big fan of Joyce Meyer. I like Joyce Meyer. I went and saw her live um we saw her at the forum here in los angeles and joyce meyer to me is a good teacher i identify with joyce meyer a lot of people are not fond of joyce meyer i am i identify with her a lot because she went through a lot of things that i went through in my life um i was molested as a child and she was molested by her own father and um just had she just has a lot of um, emotions that I went through and to hear other women speak about what that trauma did to their lives and how they just were angry and just bitter and how God had to come and step in, how you have to give up and just let God take over and how he will change your life. It's not overnight. It's, it's taking, it, it takes diligence. It takes wanting to change wanting to seek God to help you in your situation where you see you cannot do it no more. There's nothing else you can do. You have to open your heart out up and go to the Lord and just say, Jesus, take the wheel. Okay. I love that song. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay. And I love that about her. And, um, she's just a really good teacher to me and the everyday life Bible. This is her everyday life Bible. And I believe is the amplified Bible. Mm -hmm. And if you, she's a good teacher. So that's Joyce Meyer there. And, and she's hilarious. She would have you laughing. <laughs> she really is a funny woman, but she really teaches well. And I really yeah, like her. And teacher. you, you don't look at when you, when you find a teacher and you feel a peace about it, that does not mean that they become your God. They're right. just messengers. They're just delivering the message. Right. You keep them at that place as the message delivers and you keep God at the head. Okay. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't listen to this. I listen to who I think has good wisdom and who I, I, I can God identify and who God leads me to. And so there is no perfect pastor. If you're looking for that, honey, there's only one and his name was Jesus. So I just <laughs> want to let you know that. But anyway, this is her amplified Bible and mommy loves it. And when we're reading together an amplified Bible, she follows this. It's, it's large print. It is just absolutely beautiful. She just got this, this, um, last year, 2020. And so she really hasn't even really marked in it, but she absolutely loves it. Like this is the meaning of communion. I mean, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful Bible. So we like to have, um, just get different Bibles, good teachers. And so these are all the Bibles right now that we're showing child. We got more Bibles, but these are the ones that we've gotten recently and we absolutely love them. So this is how I grow. This is what helps me in my life when I'm just reading God's word and he's speaking to me and he's helping me change because I'm not perfect and I'm seeking him for changing every single day. And especially during hard times like this, y'all, the Bible, just, just praying, talking to God and people say, well, this is how you pray there. Can't nobody tell you how to, pr how you pray. You go to God, respect him. Don't say cuss words and stuff. But if even if you do that, that's between you and God. You go to God and just say, Lord, I need you to help me, whatever it is that you're going through. And I tell you, God is faithful. Okay, so another thing before I end this that I add to my readings daily, after I've read all that, I love listening, reading Our Daily Bread. These are different authors 
and they um, just give a good message. They give each day, um, each month you get this. This is free subscription and you get this each month. Like this was Friday, January 1st and chart in uncharted waters. And I love it that they give you a scripture to read and then they elaborate by giving you kind of like just a scenario or just um, a storyline that tags into that scripture to be inspired. So I love that I am the way. I love that Jesus is his person and work. I absolutely love that. So this is one of my favorite things to add to my readings is our daily bread. These are free. I will put the link below if you want to have them come to your house. You can even go online and don't even have to have the booklet and look um, at it online and even have them read it to you online. This one is in touch again our um, in touch is Dr. Charles Stanley out of Atlanta and he is the one that is the life principal um, we have been getting these booklets for years that is Dr. Charles Stanley right there and he is just absolutely amazing you can even read that little bit he's a photographer too guys he is an amazing photographer and I absolutely love these because this is the same thing um, this was on Friday um, answered prayer and it is just beautiful absolutely beautiful and so we go day by day each month you get these and it's just a motivating read an encouraging read to add to your Bible study okay I wouldn't just read this alone and let this be my Bible you have to read the Bible the Bible is what will change you the Bible to just to understand and to see all of the I don't call them characters these were real people to see what all these people went through in the word of God, there are challenges and times that were just insane where we say, oh, I, I can't believe times like this child. These people went through some crazy times, too, and they made it through. They trust God. They made it through when they were disobedient. You saw what happened when they obeyed. You saw what happened when they were going through trials and tribulations. You saw what happened. Powerful women are in here. Some strong women in this word. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing just to know God's word and to read it every year. You learn something different and you begin to see things about yourself that needs to change as well. Now, um, I bought this. I showed you guys this sometime. I bought it at Hobby Lobby and um, I'm not going to show you what I read, I wrote into it. So I'm just going to go way back here. What I love about this um, uh, journal is that um, when I do my Bible study, I like to journal down what um what the word inspired me that day, what what message I got, and I like to write it down and what scripture and the date, and then also put a prayer down. That's the one I write. I put my prayer in. So this is for when I'm taking notes, Bible notes, and I love it because it also includes scripture as well to keep me motivated. And you also you put the date. And I just love going back, you know, filling these books and going back and seeing where and how I learned or what that scripture meant to me at that time. And when you do a new journal, you can even look at your new journal and see at that time, like, wow, look how I've grown or wow, I didn't notice that. Or wow, that 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 scripture really spoke to me differently this time. And it's just amazing. So this one is set your heart on things above and it is by brother, sister design studio. OK, and then this, of course, I got this from the 99 cent store. I showed y'all that. But this one is Walk by Faith. I got this one from Target. It was only $7 and I absolutely love it. It is Walk by Faith and it says 2 Corinthians 5, 7. The book is just, in itself, it's just absolutely beautiful. Just look how beautiful that is. Just even amongst the flowers. Isn't that pretty? Walk by Faith. Just so beautiful. And so I'm not going to show you what I wrote before early, uh, earlier, um, you know, starting off this year. But I will pull way back here so that you guys can see. And this is where I will do my prayers. And in this journal, I will write down my prayers, my time with God, what I'm concerned about, what I'm praying and asking for. Um, healing. Um, it could be something that a physical healing. It could be a healing of just the way that I'm thinking about something. I don't like the way that my mind is going in the area. Just Lord, help me heal that. I don't want to be thinking like that about this person or, you know, or just self, self. It's always 
Read the Bible to help yourself and then you can be a blessing to others. And don't read the Bible. as mo The more you know it and the more you memorize scripture, remain humble and never compare yourself to someone or want to tell someone, oh, I know that scripture. I know all about it because the Bible is just your intimacy and your personal time with the Lord. It is just a blessing to be able to talk to someone that understands you because he made you and I absolutely love it. And I'm just telling you, this is what, so this is what I do in the morning. Um, I set everything out and sometimes I'll have like uh, some tea here, but I also think it's, it's encouraging to have a beautiful environment when you're reading the word of God, because that also, when you have pretty colorful things like this, it also inspires you to just be motivated to just want to just draw closer to God and just feel that I am, I'm such a visual person. I love pretty things. And I just think it just, even the Bible being pretty like this, it's, it's just special. So if you may like playing child, that's just me. I'm telling you how I am. All right. So this is how I read my Bible. I'm not telling you you should do it this way you do you but i i'm just saying the beauty of a personal intimate relationship with the lord with jesus accepting him in your heart going to him in your mess when you saying but god doesn't i've done so much dirt i just I'm, i just don't think that god will love you child god knows everything he knew what you was gonna do before you was even born but what's beautiful is repent Ask the Lord for forgiveness. Ask him to come into your heart. Be genuine about it. Because if you're not, you're not ready. And I'm not saying, oh, you're not ready. Be genuine. And are you going to mess up again? Mm -hmm. Yep, because we all do. You're never going to be perfect. You're going to always mess up and going to always have to go back. But when you really want change and really want to change something, God is ready. He's there. He's waiting and he is ready for you. And that's what Jesus went to the cross for, y'all. I love the Lord. If it was not for Jesus, y'all, I don't know where I would be. All the stuff I have been through in my life, I'm telling you. I have a testimony video. You would have to scroll down. I'll see if I can put the link to it so y'all can check it out. My testimony video of what I went through. This was probably two years ago when I, a year ago or two years ago when I did the video. But I went through a lot in my childhood. And as an, a young adult, I'm 47 right now. As a young adult, I was angry. I had a baby at 16 and I raised this child by myself and he was a blessing to me. He turned my life around and I'm telling you, it was not easy raising a child by yourself. It's not easy, but God graced me through it. And this young man has been such a blessing to my life. I'm telling you what well, God will turn your mess into beauty. Yo, what is it? Ashes into beauty. Mm -hmm. Your ashes into beauty, yes, child. Into beauty. He will take your ashes and turn them into beauty. So if you come and you say, I don't think he, I've done this too much. I've been doing this. I've done drugs. I've drank alcohol. I had sex addiction. I've done this. It don't matter. I don't care what you did. I, 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 I did this to somebody. I don't care what you did. That's what Jesus went to the cross for. He went to the cross. So that you can be forgiven when you're genuine and you accept him in your heart. So that you can be forgiven. Okay? He loves you. He loves you where you're at. And he is so excited to help you where you're going. Alright? So you all, I hope this helped you out as much as it helped me. Faith is important too. Having faith. Believing and just having faith, trusting God to help you in your situation, in your circumstances. And like I said, there is no formula to prayer. You go to God in prayer. Just open, just pour out, Lord, I am sorry. Forgive me. This is what I need help with. This is what's been bothering me. No one else hears it but him. That's all it is between you and him. That's all that matters. All right. And he's there for you. Let me tell you, he was be there. And I can only tell you this because... Of what he's done for me. And people say. How do you know Jesus is real? How do you know God is real? Because I gave him a try. Because I said okay. Listen. I grew up in church. But sometimes if you go in, up in church. That doesn't mean that. Oh you automatically love the Lord. And you know the Lord. Some people stray away. But see I said. I have to trust God with my life. I have to surrender my life to the Lord. And let him guide me. And I did. I poured my heart out and I did. And he completely changed me. And it did not happen overnight, but I kept seeking that. It's when you seek it, you will change. And when you read this word, 
you will begin to change when you hear other stories in this word that you can identify with or even seeing how God loved them and how God provide and how God disciplined because he does discipline and how God loved them and how God protected and protects. It's amazing. Jesus, y'all, Jesus, I don't know what I would do without Jesus. <laughs> That's all I got to say is everything to me. I absolutely love him. And I'm just so grateful to know him. And I just have to share him. And if you don't believe in him, I, 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 I pray and hope one day you do. You, I pray and hope one day. This is not a video to say, believe in him and this is what you should do. But you should. I'm just going to tell you. I pray and hope that you decide to believe in him one day and accept him in your heart. So that you can see your ashes turn into beauty and begin to see God make a change in you when you feeling like you were in the mud and just in the dirt and just he will clean you off and he will just bless you step by step every day Christ rehabilitation is what I call it all right you guys so that is everything this is what I'm doing this new year and I'm um, keeping it up all this year I'm trying to get through the Bible in a year like I said if I happen to flop the beauty is, about this is that you're read you can just read you could always just start over don't ever feel, oh I missed a day oh honey yeah and I have to catch up, child. Just keep going because that word is there 24 hours a day. All right. And um, yes, if you journal, the beauty about prayer journaling and scripture journaling, especially prayer, I love that I'm able to go back to prayers and I see where God answered prayers, personal prayers, prayers for others. Because um, always pray for others. Don't ever just pray for yourself. Personal prayers, prayer, uh, breakthrough prayers for others, um, even things that I've been praying for. And sometimes, what you pray for God may not give it to you and then later on you will see why and you will thank him because it was best that he didn't give it to you <laughs> or he may give it to you and it may come later he knows what's best for us and that's why I always say you guys trust God keep him first and he'll always lead you in the right direction he knows what's best for you. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning into Journey with Shar. This is just my faith walk, my, my personal relationship with the Lord and just my intimacy with God and just, uh, just the feeling of his spirit in me that helps lead and guide me every single day. Y'all, this is how I go. Am I perfect? No. When I make mistakes, yes, I do say, Lord, forgive me for doing that. Lord Jesus, forgive me for saying that, but you know, you just keep going. That's the beauty of about our heavenly father that's the beauty about our lord and savior jesus christ all right so you all thank you so much for tuning in if this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see please hit that subscribe button make sure you also hit the notification bell every time i upload a new video it will alert you and you can come check me out and i thank you so much for tuning in you all be blessed and happy reading i'll see you soon god bless bye bye